the best. <laughs> Astrid knew her stupid wolf couldn't slay. My sister.
Our mother, hmm? <laughs> for she's your mother too, isn't she? Listener, walk away. Let poor Cicero live. Tell the pretender Astrid that you did the job. Stabbed, strangled, drowned poor Cicero. What did Lily Bitty lie? Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? 
Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what. Why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Right then. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the gourmet, I hope. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Oh. Indeed I do, indeed I do. In my, um, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. Oh, but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage, so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow, and... <laughs> You've already taken care of him. Well, I do know the Gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Uncommon taste. It was published a few years ago. It became a sensation throughout the Empire, almost overnight. The recipes were hailed as both practical and decadent. I made a few of the gourmet's dishes myself, actually. His roast mutton with regard berry sauce is to die for. But his chocolate pate gives me the runs. Yes. Gaius Morrow, on orders from his father, arranged for the Gourmet to come to Skyrim months ago, to serve as the Emperor's personal chef. But the Emperor cancelled his journey at the last minute. Morrow was smart. Kept the Gourmet around, in case things changed. And so, the Gourmet has remained in seclusion, somewhere in Skyrim, on indefinite hold probably feels like a prisoner. <laughs> but you'll fix that. Remember, the Markarth Keep. That's where you'll find Anton Varan. 
probably cooking up all of the gourmet's recipes, passing them off as his own. Sithis whisper be upon you, brother. You've been directed to dispose of the gourmet's body, is that correct? I often find water to be a suitable hiding place. A lake, a pool, a sea. Stay safe. Come now, you've got your orders. What else could you possibly need? You've got your orders. What else could you possibly need? Need something. The shadow scales are all but forgotten. And he... Hmm. Well, assuming this gourmet is just a cook, it will probably be an easy kill. Just be discreet. Alerting others will be the real threat. You're part of a family now, Hamshank. I trust you, you trust me. Got it? The last thing you need is my help. Listener or not, you've proven yourself time and again. To Astrid, to the family, and to me. Kill well, and often. Brother? Believe it or not, Festus likes you. He senses your power. Your potential. Follow his instructions to the letter, and you may even earn his respect. Represent us, brother. Anton sure looks like he's from the Reach. Don't tell him that. Yes, yes, for them. I am a Breton. I was born... And then I came here. I am not a Reachman. Who are you? What do you want? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolobe. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go. Right? No. Oh, please, no. Mercy! I cannot thank you. Someone's being attacked. Come on, do In something. cold blood. Yes, yes, for the hundredth time. I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock. Who are you? What do you want? The... Never. I don't... The Dark Bro... Now, now... Look. Now... Now you'll let me go. Okay. All right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then.
don't mind the dogs, they get angry. Yes?
Ah, hello there, traveler. Come to the night gate for food or lodging? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. This old place? Huh. Been here forever. Built by my great granda. Run by him, then all the way up the line to me. Nah, not so much. The odd traveler on the road. But mostly just old full time. Come to drink away a lifetime of bad memories, I'd wager. Of course, there's the orc. Long term tenant, that one. For what he pays, I could afford to shut this place down. Him? Oh, uh. Uh. Name's, uh. Balablob. Or, uh. Malaklob. Uh. One of them funny orc names. Talks real good, though. Not a savage at all. Said he's a writer, a job that is. Decoin. He's paid up for the next. Th he mostly just hangs out. Goes down, sometimes samples the stores of wine in the cellar. Can do whatever he pleases, far as I care. Anything you need, 